Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. Last time we went through the uh, rest of the basement area and did a few area uh, levels in the upper floor now and now we're going to continue with wet, wet dry world. So first off you're probably noticing the difference in my mic audio. Um, not sure if it's any any better like uh, I tested it with Joey last night and apparently it sounds better to him but yeah, that's only one person, and I, it's not from a video, so maybe it will be different here. I, I don't know. I haven't really. I I, I did. I went through a, a couple of tests to make sure it works fine. So hopefully everything's good, but we'll see. But anyway, Sto. First star. So what I'm gonna actually try and do is um. Try and get the the stars in the other area f first. Well, as soon as I can. Um, so we're gonna have to try and find the bubble buddy. I don't know. I forget where he is. Is he just over here? No. Nope. I think he's up on that platform, up all the way up there, where the arrows are pointing. But you know, I always. Well, I don't always forget this. I, I, I remember the majority of this level. It's just the Bob and Buddy location which gets me. But yeah, I just want to get this one out of the way because once we do that, the other ones aren't aren't gonna take that much effort. Is he over here then? I have really bad memory. I don't know. Huh. Hold on. Oh wait, is he over there? No, that's not it. May as well rise a water level though. Basically a streamlined version of the water temple in a way. Cause like... I like it. I like just hitting the switches, and yeah, I think he's just up here. So, so make a way over. Actually, no, he's wait. What? Oh no, that's right. He's over there on that platform. Okay, I get it now. Okay. So yeah, I kind of like this, the level, the level's idea here, like, having to just hit a bunch of triangular, triangular switches to raise and lower the water level, it's just a much simpler way of doing it compared to, um, Ocarina of Time's constant use of Zelda's lullaby, like, I don't know man, like that. The water temple isn't okay. The switch constant switching between the two boots is its own problem, but I ju I just hated the fact that you had to constantly play Zelda's lullaby over and over again. It's just the pacing. It's fail. <laughs> the pacing of that dungeon was just really off. Like. I don't know why I'm talking so much about Ocarina of Time in a Mario 64 let's play, but yeah. It's just a boring, it's just a boring dungeon. That's my main problem with it. It's not the fact that it's hard, even though it can be a little bit confusing sometimes into, like, there are so many keys that you can just miss by accident. Either way. And here we go to a second area. This is, I think this basically uh, acts as like a area like the volcano or the pyramid. Essentially you go here and then if you, if you die again, I think it resets you back here which is actually pretty cool. And I do like this little secondary area. But you don't you're not really, you're not really going to be here for much, for that much. 
I think it's just the red coins and one specific star, which I'm going to get now. I'll get the 100 coins and the, and the 8 red coins in a little bit. If I remember correctly, is it... Oh, here we go. Alright. Now all we have to do is... Get the Vanish Cap, which... I forget where it is. Alright. Are those fireballs ever going to activate? Was it something to do with this? I honestly forget. Failure. No? Uh... Oh wait, no, it's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. My bad. <laughs> and now we just to go over and get the star. Yeah, I just want to get these stars over with, so then we don't have to worry about them. Alright. Camera isn't exactly working, but hey. <sighs> but yeah, tell me how how you guys think the mic sounds. If there's any thing I need to change, any like, do I need to make it louder? Do I need to make it quieter? Um, how how does it sound? Like how close it is to my mouth? Because I don't want to make it. I don't want to be make it sound like it's annoying, like um, you can hear me breathing really loudly and stuff like that. I don't want if if that's like if you guys can hear that at, like at all, I'll do my best to uh, I guess get rid of it as much as possible. But we'll see. We'll see. Cause I did I I did try and. Uh, fix all that as much as I could before ha before recording this, but I'm, I'm, okay, so I'm new, <laughs> I'm new to headset mic, so this is basically a brand new world for me, and it's really weird, set of feeling, it feels really weird when my hair, well not hearing myself, but like, talking through a headset, like, I, I don't know, it's weird to explain, but it just feels really weird to me, because I'm not... I'm used to uh, using... What is it? Those um, stand-on mics and clip-on mics and stuff like that. I've never... That's not... Well, that's not true. I've used I've used headset mics in the past, but nothing um, that... I, I haven't used anything that frequently like this. Like, maybe a few times in school and stuff like that, but besides, like, when I have to do do it for, like, projects and stuff, I've never really used headset mics that much, if at all, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit weird for me to get used to this, but hey, it's been working okay so far, apparently, so here's hoping for the future, but yeah, any, any improvements, you guys, uh, which want to suggest to me just leave them in the comments because yeah I just want to make sure the mic quality is as, is as good as it can be so you know it will be appreciated anyways though after that long run we, we're pretty much just doing all we can here to get the coins and then we're gonna go into the 
second section. And there are barely any coins there, if I recall. So, yeah, don't go there until you're, like, really close to 100. I'll probably stop until I get, like, 90-something. So, and this is right, yep. Alright, just get these coins and just be on my way. Okay. I mean, I could get 100 coins here easily, but I want to get the... I want to get them while I'm getting the red coins because it just makes it seem like I'm making double pro progress, I guess. I don't... I don't know. But, yeah, just do that. But yeah, these levels, as you can see, are definitely a lot more complex than the ones we've seen previously. Like, you have this with the rising water level in the second little cool area. Well, actually, no, that's not really new, because we've seen those kind of, We've seen secondary sections in levels before, but... Um, yeah, this one has rising water levels. Um, there's the tiny huge island, which has the huge and tiny gimmick. Um, Korko Mountain is probably the um, odd one out, I guess. And Turtle Mountain... Which we'll get to eventually, in, well, soon actually, I think it's right after this level, because we've done Kukul Mountain, not, not Kukul Mountain, I, I always, it's No Man's Land, that's what it's called, um, but yeah, Snow Man's Land is pretty much the, um, odd one out, and Turtle Mountain is pretty much, as it sounds, it's a giant, uh, mountain, <laughs> with a bunch of mushrooms. Well, the mushrooms aren't in the name, so you won't know that by just hearing the name, the name, but hey. But yeah. And also has another slide section, which is probably what I'm going to do first, honestly. Get that out of the way. And just to annoy everyone, I'm not going to get the 100 coins yet, just because I want to get at least one coin. I thought I fell. I just want to get one red coin before I do that. There we go. Get this one. Yeah. I wish you could choose whether you wanted to wall, uh, jump kick or do was it like slide I guess Cause it's just like it, just, it well it's not all it's not completely random like uh, there's a it it will basically Mario will basically uh, roll if you're you have enough momentum so you have to try and use that to your advantage but can be a little bit annoying. And like, I, I kind of wish there was just a separate button for it. I think it will work better. But yeah, I like how they change the music as well, make it a little bit more mysterious. Like, that's just... I don't know, I just like it when games, like, change the music slightly when you go to a different area. Like, just... Makes it... It just keeps the, keeps the music suitable and... I don't know, I just, I just like that kind of stuff. Ow. No. Okay. I have to do this. Yeah, you can still... It's still manageable, but the... Changing camera is a little bit... Hard, annoying to deal with, but... Yeah, it's sure good at timing. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I just wish the dashing move could break blocks and stuff. It will make it a little bit more... It will make it less annoying when it happens by accident. Okay, one more. Where are you? Uh... Is 
is up there. Oh man. Oh no, oh, okay. I forgot about that one. I always I always think they're all in bl uh, blocks. to go and get a really quick and simple one. Ow. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if this actually works because I don't think I've tried this trick before. But let's see. I'm gonna try and make it go to full. I should have done this when I s went into the level but better late than never I guess. Well, so I like how those guys just disappear completely. Uh, I guess it just makes it makes it easier to uh, not have to load it. I don't know. Ha! Yeah, I can get that easily. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you're not intended to do that. <laughs> Basically, what what you what you're supposed to do is um, go on these arrow platforms, as you can see from the title or the description, whatever, and um, basically just follow them until you get to that platform where the box is, and then you're supposed to get the star. So I basically just streamlined that whole process and. We didn't have to do any of that, so... Yay! But yeah, there are so many... Unintended ways to get to the... To get to a lot of stars in this game, which... Is basically what makes this game so fun to watch speedruns of. Like, you can see people do some crazy stuff that you probably never even thought of before. And... Yeah, it's just... I, I keep saying this, but it's really thrilling to see. I keep saying that word throughout this playthrough. But you know what I mean. Just watch AG, AGDQ runs of Mario 64 and you'll see what I mean. And anyway, so this is another five secrets mission. And that's one. We already got f like three or four of them last mission by accident, so... We know where most of them are. I think another one. Yep, that's the second one. I don't think this is anything. Or maybe it is. Okay, I was wrong. Okay. All right. Dang it. I don't think you have to use those guys, but it's just most. Most of the time, it's the most reliable, but yeah, you can lose health. It's ba they're pretty much the cataquacks in this game. Well, that's the closest thing they remind me of, anyway. Is it? I don't think these guys appear in any other Mario game either. Like, as well as the um, what was it? Wasn't that something that I've? I swear it doesn't appear in a, another Mario game as well. Like... I forget what it was. Hmm. Wait, what? No? That's not it. Is it that one up there? There we go. Come on. Let's go! Oh, way off. 
that was fail. And then I die. Okay. Can I reach that? Okay. I'm correct. I think Turtle Mountain is the last mission or last world in this place. So, forgetting what that what that title says, I'm not actually doing that yet. I'm gonna actually miss pretty much everything around here, well, except for these coins. Basically, what I'm gonna do is go to go to the top of the mountain. Oh, or around near it, and then, and then I'm gonna do the slide, slide area, so I can get as many coins as possible, and then get the rest of the coins for a hundred coin star. Because, like Coco Mountain slide, trying to get the hundred coin star on the slide here is just pretty much asking for suicide. So, and keep in mind, if you if you die in uh, a level you lose all your coins so that makes it that makes it really annoying when you get a hundred coins and then you die so you have to do all that work all over again and there's that weird cloud okay Okay, let's go. And yes, there is a star tied to this place as well. So we're gonna have to do this place two times, which is always fun. Ah, come on! Oh, that place is really dangerous. Yeah. Definitely want to be more careful here because there's a lot of death traps. If you're not, and you can easily fall into, into them if you're not being careful. But that's pretty much it. So if we drop down carefully, that's as careful as it's gonna get. Now we can actually go and. Get eight red coins. May as well stack the hundred coin star on top of it, because people generally do that. It's just it just makes sense. And it gets rid of the two most um, well, eight red coins aren't really that bad in this game, but just getting rid of that as well as the hundred coin star just makes sense, just to stack those up, so you know, don't have to worry about it. But now I just have to be careful not to die, which shouldn't be too, too difficult. Because you, unless you're going on the mushrooms or something, you really have to try to die. Well, that's not true actually. There are some pretty tough, well, some pretty narrow areas, but in this first little area, well, this area here anyway, it's it's really not that not that tough. Just have to make sure you don't just walk off the edge. Cause that can always happen, I guess. Come on, I want those coins. I need 
one coin. Come on. There should be one up here. Yeah, I can get one for you. Get exactly a hundred. There we go. I don't, I'm not taking a leap of faith. Not from that angle. <gasps> oh, 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 careful now. Okay. Work with me. And Mounty Moles, can you please go away? There we go. 